Hello, I hope that you're doing well. It's been a while, a really long while since I did a video, long enough that I can now just tie my hair up and I have kind of a big beard. So yeah, this is me, I'm back, at least in this video, back for now. Things have changed a lot. I haven't really been posting much online about anything that's been going on, but then I had this incredible experience over the weekend and I just felt like, bloody hell, I just have to tell you about this because it's it's crazy. Uh, basically, I got to open for Amanda Palmer. She is currently in South Africa and some amazing guy named Peter in Canada sent a tweet to me saying, you're the only dude I know in South Africa and uh, I, sh I should tell you that Amanda's there and she's got this competition, you can win tickets to her show. And so I went and checked the link and I was all excited and I tweeted, yay, that sounds great. And Amanda obviously saw all the tweets and was just like, fuck that, dude, you should come and hang out and you should play a song or two. And so I did, I played two songs. And what's kind of wild about the experience, I mean, there were a lot of things which felt wild about the experience, but one of the things is that it was the most, probably the biggest show I've ever played, actually. Uh, there were about 700 people there, maybe a bit more. And they were just such wonderful humans. They were so connected and so available. And I suppose, you know, that's because of Amanda. Well, no, not suppose. That's definitely because of Amanda and because of the kind of an audience that she attracts and the kind of people that are magnetized towards what it is that she's doing. And anyway, so yeah, I played I Will Devour and we all sang it together. And I played Lovers in the Morning Light, which is one of my kind of unreleased songs, but it's one of my most precious songs for me. And I got to play it on Amanda's ukulele because hers plugs in and mine doesn't. It was amazing. It was, it was just a revolutionary, heart opening experience to be in the presence of someone who has really walked her talk as far as being a courageous, independent artist goes. And she just, she just rocked it, man. The people who were there were so cool and she was so cool and her music is so honest and she's so honest. And Ah, oh, it was incredible. And Neil, her husband ended up being there and he's just one of my favorite authors and people in the world. And he got up and, and read a story and there was another woman named Patty who just did incredible music. And another woman, I think her name was uh, Lauren, although I'm not actually sure about that, but an author who got up and read. And just every person had these incredibly beautiful, precious, important things to say. And it was a reminder to me of the power and positivity that is social media and the internet uh, because it connected me with all of this. It got, it made it all happen. And I've been feeling so challenged and negative about a lot of what social media is doing to us and doing to me and the addictiveness of it and, and all that kind of stuff. So to, to have an opportunity to remember really the power and the connected, the connectedness that it can inspire, that was like, that was so necessary and so so fantastic. And also to be reminded of what it feels like to be around sensitive, open-hearted souls and to share my songs and my stories and to just be real and honest and open, it was fucking amazing. It just, it just, it just gave me everything that I, that I hope and dream to be able to, sh to, to receive and to share with the world. Which brings me to me and sharing with the world and what is it that, it, where am I currently? And where I'm currently at is not knowing when I'm going to be able to play music professionally again, consistently. Because of this problem that I have or this challenge that I'm confronted by around my neck and my back and my shoulder and all the stuff that's happening. Uh, this has been a long-term thing. It's just not something I've really talked about much because I, I, I I suppose I was in denial in some ways. I kept thinking, well, it'll get better or I'll work it out or something, but I've really come to terms in the last few weeks. I've, I've come to, to confront and acknowledge that this has affected me to the point that I can't really play music at the moment. <laughs> I can't practice guitar. I can't sing every day. I can't do all the work that I need to do to be a functioning musician in the world. Um, and But fortunately, after seven years of having getting these neck spasms inexplicably and not knowing why. I have had an MRI scan done and I've seen a really nice physio. I've, I mean, I've seen a lot of physios over the years, but this one for whatever reason has really connected. And she's shown me that I have what is called a bulging or a herniated disc or a protruding disc. It basically means a little bit of the squishy bit between the between the bones is squishing out the one side and it has a tendency then to squish the nerves which run down into my arm and then and when it when it gets squished then everything goes into panic state and locks up to protect me and that spasm means that I can't play well I, I yeah I can't play a lot anyway because playing 
makes it worse. So looking down and to the left at my guitar or ukulele or whatever makes it worse and then more likely to spasm. And so for now, my focus is and has to be healing. And I don't know how long that's going to take. And I don't know what exactly it's going to take. But I have had very positive feedback from a lot of people who've had help from just doing exercise and body movement, working with physios, working with chiros, working with acupuncture, all these different things. Um, some people have had to have surgery, which has also been very helpful for them. So I'm looking at all these options and seeing what is the reality? What, what is it that I'm going to need to do here and try to take the best steps possible towards that? And yeah, I just at this point, I feel it's important to say thank you to my patrons because you are directly supporting me to have the time and the resources to be able to actually do this. Uh, I, I, I've been thinking so much about all those artists and creators out there who don't have this kind of an income from Patreon, where if they're not playing shows, they don't have income. And, and so and I just can't imagine what I would do in that. I don't know what I would do right now if I didn't have you guys, if I didn't have you wonderful humans who are supporting me through this, because I don't know when I'm going to be able to consistently play live shows again. I, I, it might take two months, it might take six, it might take a year, but I am working on it. And I, and I feel for the first time that I actually have some answers that I, it's like this weight has been lifted where I'm like, okay, there is an actual physiological thing that is in my body. And, and that is a part of why this is happening. I also believe that everything is linked emotional, spiritual, physical. And so I'm sure that there are some emotional aspects to this that need working through. And I'm also looking at that. And so I, I don't know, I don't really have anything else to say other than that. I'm looking at ways that I can stay creative. So I'm, I'm very excited about my podcast. I did 10 episodes and kind of let it fade, but I'm looking at how I can make that a more consistent practice for me and a, a consistent creation and sharing with you. So podcasting is one way to communicate and share and, and the stuff that I care about in the world and stay passionate. And then, yeah, to play music when I can, to play ukulele more because it's not as strenuous on my neck, although looking down and left is still a problem, but it's not as much as the heavy guitar on my body. Um, it doesn't make my arm go as far away from my body, so it doesn't hurt my shoulder. And anyway, so there's all that. So there's maybe a bit more ukulele and just looking at, at ways to stay positive and stay moving. It does mean that I'm going to have to postpone the continuation of my album. I so far have four or five songs that are kind of ready for the album, but I still need another five or six to record at least. And I don't know when I'm going to be able to do that. So please be patient. I, I wanted the album to be out already six months ago, but I ask for your patience as I am trying to be patient myself. Yeah, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I think that's all I have to say today. If you are one of my patrons, then also come and hang out in the Discord chat room now. Um, I've been posting and sharing about that more. So it's a good, safe community where we can chat about all the things that we're going through, positives, negatives, everything. And I'm really enjoying that space right now. So, so do stay connected there. That's it. I, I have some other ideas and fun things that I want to talk about, but not right now. For now, I hope that you have enjoyed this little update from me as much as I have enjoyed sharing it with you. I would like to say a very, very just massive thank you to Amanda Palmer, to everyone involved in her crew and her team and, and her audience. What an incredible community. What an inspiring bunch of people. I was ridiculously happy that night. I just like... It was just a fulfillment of, of all the things that I believe that art should be about and just, oh, yes, like humans coming together and making beautiful things happen. So thank you all so much. Again, thank you to my patrons and my community, to everyone who supports what I do and believes in me. I'm just like, I don't know. I feel like good things are happening, even though I'm currently experiencing a lot of pain <laughs> and have been bedridden for most of the last few weeks. I feel like this is a part of something that is I don't know. I just, I don't have the answers, but I'm tr I am trust that there's something. There's something here. There is a reason for all of this. Um, yeah. So thank you. I send you all my love and I look forward to hearing from you. Please do comment below uh, or comment wherever and just let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you're up to. You're amazing. Thank you for being in my world. I'm Nate Maingard. You are awesome. And I will connect with you again real soon. Bye.